Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to deploy GKE clusters and we will also learn how to modify GKE clusters and finally we will deploy a sample workload and then we will view the details about workloads in the Google Cloud Console. So for that I'm going to go to the navigation menu and click the Kubernetes engine clusters and I'm going to click the create button and there are two types of cluster modes autopilot and standard uh, autopilot is where the Google manages your cluster and it is recommended and standard is where you manage your cluster so in this example I'm going to go with the standard one and I will click the configure And first and foremost, we need to give the name of the for this cluster. Uh, since we are creating a standard, I'm going to give the standard cluster one. I'm going to zoom a bit so you can see clearly. Standard cluster one. You can choose the location type, either zonal or regional. In this case, I'm going to go with a zonal and change the US Central C to US Central 1A. And you can also specify the default node locations. You can leave the all the default configuration and click create button. The creation of this, uh, the standard cluster one will take about six to seven minutes. So I will, um, I will just cut the time and start with the, with the changing the, the standard cluster one, modifying. As you can see now, our standard cluster one is ready. It has, uh, it took about more than six minutes to create for this standard cluster one. So you can see the number of nodes three and the total CPU six and total memory is 12 GB. So you can click this standard cluster one uh, to, to, to change the number of nodes. For example, you can click the nodes and you can see the default pool. There are three a number of nodes. You can click this edit and then you can click the nodes. You need to go to default pool in order to change the number of nodes. Click the default pool and then click the resize. And you will see that there are a number of nodes three. I will change to four and I will click resize. This is uh, how you can change the number of nodes. So you can come back to your clusters and you need to wait again about, I'm not sure how long it will take, about, I guess, three to five minutes. And it will change this number of nodes from three to four. And after that, we'll try to deploy a sample workload by going to this workload section. For now, let's wait a bit and see our number of nodes. You can see that the cluster is being updated. As you can see that our number of nodes has changed from three to four. You can click this standard cluster one and you can see more details about the standard cluster one. You can see the cluster basics, automation, networking, security, and metadata. You can click the nodes and in order to change, you have to go to default pool as I showed in the next, in the second step. You can see the number of nodes. There are four nodes with a different name. And you can go to the storage, observability, logs. You can play around with it. So our third step or third task would be to deploy this sample workload. For that, just go to workloads and click the deploy. And you can leave all the default configuration. Just click done and click the continue. And you can see that we have a NGINX application name, NGINX1. And for the namespace, we'll just leave the default. 
and all the labels will also leave the default and you can see that our standard cluster one is here in the Kubernetes cluster section you can see oh, we have only one cluster and we'll just create a new cluster or you can if you want to create a new cluster just create click this button and for now we'll just click the deploy and you can see that our sample workload is deploying You can see our nginx for example just click the workloads again and you can see our nginx the type uh, is deployment the namespace is de uh, default and the cluster is a standard cluster one you can click this nginx one and check the details overview you can see the cluster namespace all the information here the number of nodes and the manage pods here you can click details and you can click the revision history and you can check also the event and logs and also you can check the, the YAML you can see so this is all about that I wanted to show in this video this is the beginner level of the video so you can uh, play with the Kubernetes engine in the next video we are going to deep dive into Google Kubernetes engine. Thank you very much and see you in the next videos.